Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on skincare. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so today I have a brand that's new to me. You all may have heard of it. It is a Korean skincare brand. And as you all know, Korean skincare has been like hot for the past, what, four or five years, maybe even more. And that's because everybody wants that youthful, seems to never age skin. We want to be able to take care of our skin as long as possible. So this is a product that has lots of good ingredients that I think you may be interested in. They did send these to me to review and talk to you all about. And historically, I do like to try products in upwards of three months so I can speak to how well the product faded the skin or smoothed the skin or how it reacted just a combination of things but for this video I will be able to talk to you all about the texture of the products how it plays with makeup if there's any irritation involved if you're a person that has skin that's on the sensitive side and you put on something new or you put on or you try something that's very harsh it can cause you to break out so I can speak to that and lastly I'll be able to tell you how it made my skin feel and look immediately after applying it so the brand that I want to talk about is Rangelica and like I said Rangelica is a Korean skincare brand some of the things that really uh, stood out to me with this brand that I immediately liked and these may sound kind of trivial like all of the products come sealed and they're not the type of products that can you you can easily contaminate you know how you have some containers that you open up the, the product or whatever you can stick your hand in and contaminate it all of it has packaging where you can just put it into your hand and again all of it came sealed I do love the fact that it focuses on using botanicals as opposed to harsh ingredients and you all have heard me many times you know brag on other brands that uh, like to use botanicals instead of harsh chemicals and sometimes that can cause the price you know drive the price up a little bit but sometimes it's necessary in order to get the best type of product that's going to work the best and feel the best on your skin. Another ingredient that this particular skincare uh, chose to use is mandelic acid and I'm sure you all are familiar with AHAs and BHAs and um, mandelic acid is really good if you have sensitive skin or if you have acne prone skin that's um, easily irritated. The first one that I want to talk about is the Water Lily pH Balance Gentle Cleanser. So this is going to be a product that hydrates and nourishes, smooth and brightens and it's going to cleanse effectively without disrupting the microbiome and I've talked a lot about in old videos how important it is when you use a skin when you use a cleanser to pick one that doesn't disrupt your microbiome and that's simply um, all of us have like a, a healthy layer of bacteria on our face I mean bacteria is everywhere but you really want to if you can find a good cleanser that has a good pH balance as well as something that's just not going to wreak havoc on your microbiome and the fact that it has plant derived ingredients is really good that's always going to be better than a harsh chemical so that's just something to keep in mind this is a clear uh, jelly type of consistency and you only need a little let me repeat that again you only the first time I used the cleanser I, I had my little uh, section a little bit too much and it just kind of was an overkill but you only need a little and the first time that I used it I was like okay well let me clean, cleanse my face and let's just kind of walk around let's not put anything on and see how it's going to make my uh, skin feel it didn't tighten up or crack up uh, another thing that I did try was um, I, and I know that you're not supposed to use alcohol <laughs> on your face but I did take a cotton ball with a little bit of alcohol and I just kind of you know just kind of uh, ran it right here just to see if it actually did uh, do the job of cleansing my face and it did this is very gentle and effective and I absolutely love it all right so next up I 
have a microbiome and vitamin C immunity support essence. And this essence works as a nutrient rich alternative to a toner to boost efficacy of your skincare routine by providing immunity boosting support with gentle forms of vitamin C, C buckthorn and skin native microbiome complex. So again, we're talking about the microbiome here and essences are, you know, you'll find people who like to use them. You have others that don't want to use them, not so much, but I personally like to use essence and you can go back on videos years and years back. <laughs> you know, I'm always talking about an essence. I think essences are good because it prepares your skin for the next products that you're going to place. It just better preps your skin and plus it has all of the other added ingredients and after I apply this you I apply a little and I do kind of wait just a little bit before I go into my serum uh, this is another one that you don't need a lot of again the first time I used it I, I, I put a little bit too much you only need a little it's amazing how far this product goes the shelf life on all of these I think it's 12 months let me tell you um, if it was 20 if it let's say if it was 24 months I could see it actually lasting that long uh, because it goes such a long way but you only want to use it for you know use it up within the 12 months but this is definitely a good one I haven't had any type of adverse effects I feel as this one as well as the other products that I'm going to talk about I do have them under the the makeup that I look at that I have now and I was able to put powder on concealer a little bit of foundation uh, some Sprite just all the highlighter all that good stuff and there was no peeling or you know just moving around some products will not allow you to do that you have you really have to be careful when you're picking your skincare products but either way loved this one okay so next up I have the Mandelic and Edelweiss Renewal Serum and this is for visible correction of wrinkles pores and uh, pigmentation so if you're not familiar with the ingredients otherwise I think I'm pronouncing that correctly that is supposed to be more potent than vitamin C and the fact that they mix those ingredients together helps this particular serum have more of a punch this is another one you only need a little have you ever seen uh, someone who they didn't have on makeup but their skin it was just glowy. That is what the combination of these products gave me. And I found that at night, when I applied at night, when I wake up, it's the st it's still the same type of look. So, you know, these two, again, are working together. So far, <laughs> I've liked them. And, and last up, I have the Bakchuka Oil Niacinamide Anti-Aging Cream. This anti-aging cream works to visibly correct signs of aging associated with thinning skin. So the Bakchuka Oil is a natural retinol alternative. It also has seven seaweed extracts, which serves as a nutrient-rich humectant, and it has 2% niacinamide plus five ceramides which are going to keep the skin moisturized. Uh, the, the packaging on this is like an aluminum type of uh, tube. Again this one came sealed, everything came sealed. Very very nice and I, I enjoyed using this one. This one is another one you really don't need to use a lot and you know I'm just kind of thinking about you know i guess as far as the amount of product i've needed in the past to you know get through my skincare but it just seems like with these this set of products a tiny bit and you always hear people say a tiny bit but literally a tiny bit goes a long way. So after the final step is applied, my skin feels plumped, very calm. It's like a calming, nice, relaxed feel for your skin, uh, for my skin. It doesn't feel irritated at all. And all three of these, really all four, work magnificently together. I would recommend, if you don't know anything about their products, definitely go to their website and just kind of look at the ingredients ingredients look and see what they have in it so yeah let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products and if you like them tell me if you tried these products and you didn't like them let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches